Hello YouTube and welcome back to my fourth episode of my Wolves career where we will be kicking things off against Ipswich currently top of the table which is good in this episode we will be going into our second Capital One Cup game against um, I'm not too sure actually but we'll see later on in the episode see who we come against and right now you see me editing the squad just make sure everyone's fresh giving a few of the other players a bit of a go I think I put Savile into the team had to keep Edwards in the squad as he's currently been our best player um, so far this season so he was had to be in the team so did Sagbo um, Sacco on the left wing hasn't really done much for so far so hopefully he can do it here we go we have the ball with Sagbo who skips past the defenders like they're not even there and then charges forwards towards the goal here we go takes a shot and I think it comes off the post in the end yeah there you go unlucky there not to be 1-0 ahead through Sagbo here we are Ipswich I think they take the lead with this um, great play I think my defender falls on the floor here yeah with me mistake there slight tackle too early they go 1-0 ahead, 1-0 Ipswich, not a great start to the game. That was my defensive area there that cost me the goal. Can't really complain, should have you know, stayed on my feet maybe and we would have still been 0-0. But nonetheless, we have a chance here to go 1-1 with Sagbo. Unfortunately, he doesn't put it in. And the, I think the goalkeeper makes a great save there to keep it at 1-0 to Ipswich. I think that should come to the end of the first half. Yeah, end of the first half, 1-0 to Ipswich. Wasn't a great half on my behalf, to be honest. I mean, you should see the stats here. I think we only had one shot on target the whole half and two shots in total, which isn't great. But here we go. Son Sagbo on his way for a, with a beautiful lofted through ball, who then shrugs off the defender and then places the ball into the bottom right corner of the net. We bring it back 1-1. Yeah, after this goal, we ended up taking Sacco off as his, you know, his form had been poor. So you know, But you know what they say, form is temporary, class is permanent. Hey. But yeah, hopefully Sacco can come into a bit of form for us. Here we go, making our substitutions. We also take Edwards off and bring on Mason as, you know, just resting Edwards because we'll probably need him for the next game anyway. So we took Edwards off, put Mason on, took Sacco off, replaced him with another left winger. I don't know his name, so I apologise for that. And I think that comes to the end of the game. Yeah, 1-1 it ended. That's our first draw of the season. I think we should still remain top after that. There you go, the stats are, the stats are there. I also think my game glitched out here. As you can see, all the full-time scores are nil-nil for some reason, which I found very odd. It was also a transfer deadline day for us, but we didn't um, involve ourselves in the transfer market as I thought the squad was pretty much perfect, so we didn't really need to dip into our fund, although we don't have any. But anyway, we go into our second game to the Capital One Cup, which is against Preston. Um, I changed the squad around a little as well, just to make sure that a few of the other players got a bit of a run around. Changed the right back, brought Mason back in for a start, brought Dicko in for the, you know, to play up front. Just, you know, basically changing the squad around. The only player that won't be playing is Roger Johnson because he's a twat. Talking about the Capital One Cup, what do you guys call it? Do you call it the Carling Cup or do you call it the League Cup or do you call it the Capital One Cup? Like, you know, there's so many names for it these days, it's just ridiculous, but, you know. Also, if there's any Wolves fans that are watching these videos, if can you comment below, tell me who your favourite player is and who you'd like to see me bring into the squad, give them a chance to play. But, you know, I do follow Wolves, but I'm not really a huge Wolves fan, so I don't really know the team as well as you guys would. Getting into the game now, and you'll see in this game, it's a bit of a goals fest. There's like, I think there's six goals in total in this next game, but you'll you'll see them anyway. And then anyway, we feed the ball through to Dicko, who cuts inside and puts the ball into the back of the net. 1-0 to Wolves. Great start to the game. It's a shame we have two great strikers in Sagbo and Dicko, because, well, it's not really a bad thing, it's a good thing, but it's a shame that Dicko can't really start the league games because of the, the, the tremendous form that Sagbo is in at the moment. It's just a shame, but hopefully he'll get his chance in the future and we can play him in the league as well. He'll also be playing in the FA Cup as well. Dicko also is a very quick player. Look at him, skips past the defence, runs at them. You know, the defence must be terrified. Smashes the ball, unlucky there, smashes it, hits the post, come, comes back, they collect it and clear the ball. I think that brings it to the end of the first half as well. You go into the half, three shots, three of them on target, which is great for us. Um, first half was a bit boring actually because I did say at the start of this uh, game it was going to be a goal fest and we only scored one goal so far but here we go. This goal right here was my favourite goal of the game as it was like a lot of um, ticky tacky football as, as you know it's called in the modern day but it was a lot of passing, a lot of moving and it was just a great goal in general. Mason's the one who picked it up making it 2-0 to us against Preston in the Capital One Cup. We're going on to the um, next round, you know, the game should be wrapped up now. That was my favourite goal of the game so far because it was just a great teamwork. The players, you know, the, the passing was beautiful. I prefer them sort of goals to the ones where you just smack it into the top right corner. As you know, it requires a lot of work to do them sort of goals, to be honest. Here we go. I win the ball in midfield, place, play a beautiful ball down to Dicko. He skips past the defender, then places it just past the keeper in his near post. Brilliant goal there. Pace, power. Dicko showing me again why he should be starting the league games as well as the league cup games. Picking up two goals in this game so far. 
brilliant play. I can't really knock him. You might actually get your chance in the next game. We'll see, we'll see. You might be able to play with two strikers up front as well, with maybe Sagbo and Dicko as well. But I prefer to play with a one striker up front because, you know, I prefer to have more midfielders. Maybe we can test out that formation in the next League Cup game or maybe even just one of the games against one of the lower teams in the division. Here we go. We, unfortunately, we can see the goal here. Very sloppy. You know, I should have really cleared the ball, but they pick up a goal. 3-1. We're still going through to the next round anyway. Dicko in the next clip is going to show why he should be starting the next league game. Skips past his defender, paces out the, their defence like he's Usain Bolt and smacks the ball into the net. That's his hat-trick. Perfect performance from Dicko. Needs to work on his celebration a bit though because we're not having any of that shit dancing around here, mate. Here's the replay of him just, you know, running past the defence, skipping past them, using that pace of his and then smacking the ball past the goalie to make it 4-1 to us. We're going through to the next round, people. Alright guys, that brings that game to an end. I honestly thought there were six goals in that game, but there's only five. Still, there's only one left. Still lots of goals. We scored four of them. Great result. We're going through to the next round of the Capital One Cup. Let's see who we can get. Hopefully we can get one of the big boys, because we ain't scared. This is Wolves. We take on any bad day. In the next game, we will be coming up against Middlesbrough in the Championship. That will be in the next episode. Also, it seems like we've got a few emails to read there, so we'll have, we'll have a quick look at them. That should bring it to the end of the episode anyway. If, please, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you are new around here, please subscribe, you know, as it does help. I want to thank you guys for watching also, and I hope you're all having a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. See ya!